Hello, my name is Lauren Richards. Welcome to How to Make Relationship Work YouTube channel, where we give you all the valuable information you need to take your relationship to the next level. Subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss any of our video. Well, there isn't a picture perfect relationship. You have to remember that a healthy relationship does not mean a perfect relationship. It does not mean you are happy all the time. It does not mean you don't fight or disagree. There is no mathematical formula for a healthy relationship. You can do these things and expect your relationship to be healthy. A healthy relationship requires two healthy and emotionally stable people. A healthy relationship is like a healthy body. Your body needs water, nutrients, and exercise to function at its highest capacity. All the organs, muscles, and bones need to work together in harmony. Your romantic relationship is the same. For it to be healthy, all the parts need to work together. You can't carry your relationship alone and expect it to be balanced. You could eat kale every day but, if you don't exercise or drink enough water, it wouldn't do much for you. The same goes for a relationship. You could put a lot of work in, but if your partner isn't willing to do the same and communicate, listen, and compromise, the relationship, like your body will fail. If you are in a relationship that feels healthy but aren't sure or want to know if you have ever had a healthy relationship or how to know when you are in one, these are some signs of a healthy relationship. Number 1. Respect. Every type of relationship requires respect to be healthy, whether it is a working relationship, a friendship, or of course, a romantic relationship. This sort of relationship is so often driven by gender stereotypes, but respect is required to create balance and fairness. Number 2. Understanding. Of course, communication is key to a healthy relationship, but you can communicate until you are blue in the face if there is no understanding. A couple can share their feelings openly and honestly, but if they are not listening and really comprehending what they are hearing, it won't do any good. Number 3. Equality. Respect and equality do go hand in hand, but equality is different. Respect means that you accept each other's differences and don't judge them for their choice. Equality means that you share the same opportunities, rights, and status. You should both be able to share responsibilities, whether they be with work or around the house. Number 4. Connection. Not all healthy relationships have chemistry, a spark, or a fire. A connection matters though. You must have a fondness for each other. You should actually enjoy each other's company. The relationships that are full of chemistry but lack an actual connection are in trouble. A connection can be intellectual, physical, emotional, or more than one. Without that bond, it is hard to have a healthy relationship. Number 5. Support. Although the healthiest of relationships are helped by both parties having outside support, supporting your significant other is vital to a healthy relationship. Support can be anything from paying for your partner's higher education to listening to them. It can be taking care of the house while you are swamped with a busy season at work or stepping up when you are going through a rough patch. Number 6. Individuality. A couple that spends so much time together and is never apart or entertaining their own hobbies and interests can seem amazing, when in fact it is almost always codependent. A relationship without individuality is not passionate or beautiful, it is full of control, loss of self, and can lead to the relationship defining your life and happiness. Number 7. Trust and Honesty. Trust and honesty go hand in hand when it comes to a healthy relationship because you cannot have one without the other. You cannot trust each other unless you are honest, and you can't be honest unless you trust each other. Number 8. Lack of Ego. We all have ego. We all have moments of pride, vanity, and arrogance. But letting those characteristics take over in a relationship leads to belittling, manipulation, and control. When your ego or your partner's gets out of hand, that becomes the vital part of the relationship. Instead of caring, support, or love, it becomes about power, strength, and the ability to control. To maintain a healthy relationship, both partners need to be able to let go of their ego. 
Number 9. Compromise. Letting go of your ego is what lets you compromise. Compromise is essentially our way of having healthy arguments. And these are so important. No couple will always agree. And bottling up those disagreements leads to resentment and anger. Compromising is how you share your lives with differences. Number 10. Laughter. Without humor and lightheartedness, a relationship can turn sour so quickly. If things are too serious all the time, you lose the playfulness that makes being in a relationship so fun. I know it seems odd, but humor and intimacy often go hand in hand. It can be difficult to be close and intimate if you take yourselves too seriously. You should be able to laugh until you cry and make fun of yourself together. Conclusion. If you still find yourself asking the questioning, what does building healthy relationship look like, you may just have to wait until it finds you to know for sure. What do you think of the video? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that big red subscribe button and the notification icon to never miss any of my update. I will see you in the next video.